Hello, my name is Katie Denning, and I'm going to be teaching the partial sums algorithm. The history of the partial sums algorithm. Everyday Mathematics is a K-8 curriculum developed by the University of Chicago School of Mathematics Project and published by Everyday Learning Corporation, a part of SRA McGraw-Hill. The partial sums edition involves thinking of the place value of digits within the numbers. Finding partial sums by adding parts of numbers according to their place value and adding partial sums together to get a total. Now, let's begin learning this great addition algorithm. We would love to solve the problem 45 plus 38. You need to begin by thinking of the expand notation for the numbers being added. 45 equals 40 plus 5 and 38 equals 30 plus 8. Remember! Students tend to start with the larger place value digits, so that is why in this algorithm they work their way from left to right. However, it is okay if they would like to start from the right and add to the left. Alright, 45 plus 38 equals what? You are going to begin with the tens place, which is 40 plus 30, and that is going to equal 70, and you are going to write that answer underneath the line. Next, you are going to add the ones place, which is 5 plus 8, and that is going to give you 13, and you are going to again write that number under the line. Final step, you are going to add the sum of the tens place and the sum of the ones place together to get the final answer, which is 70 plus 13, which is going to give you the grand total of 83. In review, 45 plus 38 equals 83. You added the tens, then you added the hundreds, which would give you the sum of 70 plus 13, which equals 83. Now, I know you're all dying to try one on your own, so here's the problem. Solve 27 plus 88 using the partial sum method. All right, everybody, check your answer. Did everyone get 105? If not, that is all right. We have a few more to go. But if you did, great job. Now let's try a harder partial sums addition problem. You need to solve 4,785 and add that to 519. First, break down both numbers on each side of the equation. 4,785 is going to equal 4,000 plus 700 plus 80 plus 5, and 519 is going to be 500 plus 10 plus 9. You're going to start with the thousands place, so it's going to be 4,000, and there is no thousands in the 519, so your answer is 4,000. You're then going to add the hundreds place, so it's going to be 700 plus 500, and that's going to give you 1,200, and you're going to write that under the 4,000. Next, you are going to add the tens place, which is 80 plus 10. That's going to give you a total of 90. And you're going to write that 90 under the 1200. The next step is to add the ones place, which is 5 plus 9. That's going to give you a total of 14. And you're going to write that number under the 90. And the final last step is to add the thousands, the hundreds, tens, and ones place all together to get your grand total of 5,304. So to review, you added the thousands, then the hundreds place, then you added the tens place to get you 90, and then you added your 5 plus 9, which gave you the 4. And this all added up to 5,304. Now, I know, once again, you would just love to try one on your own. So please add 7,345. Add that to 621 using the partial product addition method. And I hope you all get the right answer. Good luck. Now let's all check your answer. I hope everyone got 7,966. If not, you always can have many other practice problems. If you did, great job.
There are many ways to add numbers, and the partial sum addition method is another strategy used by many students in order to solve addition problems. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something new today. The end.